Good morning, brothers and sisters. This is Danny from CatchForChrist.net, and today we're going to be memorizing 1 Thessalonians 5.16. As always, we'll be using the Scripture Typer Bible Memory System app that I highly recommend. Please see the first video on this playlist for more in-depth tutorial on how I like to use this app. Right now, we're going to select My Verses, and I'll just take you through the whole process today. You're going to hit the plus sign at the bottom right-hand corner, Select a new verse, then you'll choose um, which book of the Bible Bible you'll be in. Today is actually a letter, and then you'll just enter the chapter and verse notation. You can choose multiple verses if you like to, and then you can also put things into verse collections. Import verse text, a nice short one today, and then just hit save, and then you can just search for the verse once it's in your library. Alright. And we'll start the three-step process. The first step is typing it. Typing it just entails typing the first letter of each word, and the word should change from gray to black. So rejoice always. First Thessalonians 5.16. You'll do that step at least three times. The second step is to memorize it. Um, it's called Memorize It. The app just takes away half the words, and now you're essentially filling in the blanks but you're still only typing the first letter of each word. Rejoice always. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 You'll do that step also three times at least. And the third and final step is called Master It. Now you're just typing the entire verse from memory, still only typing the first letter of each word. Rejoice always. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 Now once you reach 100% accuracy, it's a little easier for this verse since it's only two words. But most verses are longer than this. Um, but once you reach 100% accuracy, I always recommend to try to get it at 100% at least three times. I think that goes a long way to helping you retain and recall the verse in the future. It's also helpful, um, in my opinion, to recite the verse as you're going along. If you're anything like me, you're going to start to hear your own voice in your head, which can be really beneficial when you're trying to memorize. It's also always beneficial to read Bible verses in their original context. So for more context on this verse, please see the link in the description below. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to memorize 1 Thessalonians 5.16. This is Danny from CatcherChrist.net. Have a great day, and God bless.